remember I told you how clean my kitchen was? <laughs> well, I put on my reading glasses and it wasn't quite as clean as I thought, but it's probably good enough for this quality of video. The videos aren't going to be that high quality until, until I say so, <laughs> until things change. Um, but you want to see, I, I'm still, let's just uh, bring everyone up to date. This is still a van. It's still called Backpack. I have uh, I have a water pump that I will bring to the van build and that can get installed hopefully. And um, so I, I don't have electricity unless I'm plugged in um, because my solar is, it was, it's kind of a haphazard hookup and I'm not comfortable with it, it's not grounded. So I'm not using that. Um, and you know, I can look at that at the van build, get some advice and some help. But, um, so I, I'm really, I want to show you my kitchen right now, how it's set up, because I love it. Even though I don't have running water, I haven't had running water for a couple years, so, or years. Um, many of you know I use this, oh, the, 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 the pump, and it, uh, and it's still, after two years, is still working just great. So, um... It works great. It kind of runs a little longer sometimes. I don't know why. But my system, when I'm plugged into power, I love this. I have this old hot plate and I keep it on low, like low, low. And it uses about 0.5 amps an hour. And I always have a little warm water. I never stick anything in the water. I only use this because I take a little bit and then I'll rinse my hands off. Um, or I will take this. This is my, I only use this bowl for like washing my face. Um, you know, and I, so I always have the, I'm not going to pour that back in there because, you know, this you got to keep clean. And so, um, this is when I'm plugged in, I have warm water all the time. If not, I just boil water. And... This has a, um, this is my favorite little teapot that I got on Amazon. I'll talk about that more and put a link below because this, the reason you want to buy this one is because of this, there is no seal here. It's seamless. It has the thermometer or yeah, that's what you call it, thermometer. So you get the temperature right for tea, which is key. Um, of course my little basket of everything. I rarely open my drawers for anything. That sound weird? That sounded weird. I rarely open my drawers. <laughs> no, that's pulled down. Anyway, enough about drawers. Um, here's a neat little uh, system. I have this drainer thing, and this, I, these are the things I kind of rinse or I wipe off and use again that stay fairly clean. This is guest friendly, um, sterilized. Oh, this thing is so cool. This is what I put my um, green juice in. And I mix it. I wish I could show you. I use two hands and I'm like, it's my little handheld blender. I got that. Did you even see that? I'll demonstrate it for you. It's so cute. Lots to do. I have water up here, but it falls down. So um, this is all RO water. And I put RO water in there. And the reason is, is because I use this to rinse off ice cubes. Um, sometimes I spray my mouth out <laughs> when I say bad things. You know, when I say awful things, I rinse my mouth out. <laughs> so I want RO water when I'm, when I'm bad. Um, this is the upper rack of my kitchen. And I can tell you, I just cleaned it out. But when you start to travel, you start throwing things in and this drives me crazy because I do like things very, I have to have things very clean and organized in the kitchen so that I stay clean and organized. I look clean and organized. And uh, so that I just take it all out again, put it in a plastic bin, and then I start over. But there's the before. Let me take a picture. Well, before I take a picture, I mean, it, I just want to show you it's, everything's important up here, almost. Spices, that's my, that's my actual measuring for a, a drink. This I use a lot. That little funnel, my spices, 
my little yogurt drinking jar for just a little glass of water or even, um, I don't know, a little sip of something. My soap and my shredder and my salt and my more salt and, oh gosh. <laughs> You're going to ask, what is that? A mason jar with a hole in it with a syringe, not a syringe, a eyedropper. I don't know what it is, but I made it. And it's going to be for something really amazing. Um, that I use, and my glasses, and and there's my little... This was, this is, was not supposed to be a tour, but this is my travel mode right now. So it's a little hectic. This should not be traveling there because it fell over. I had it wired to this little thing metal thing but the wire broke imagine that my teapot and my cast iron and I think that's my sister's it wound up in my stuff but because uh, it looked like camping stuff but I love it I hope she doesn't ask me to send her it back <laughs> that's just a, a quick I'm just excited and I just want to show you because things are a process and they get better and better well, that's not true. Things haven't gotten better and better, but I know that they will because that's, um, that's how I see things. I see things as always getting better. I just made two or three really bad decisions and, uh, I'm over it. <laughs> you guys have to go through it. Oh yeah. I'm sharing because there's valuable lessons in there and it's cute and funny. Uh, so let me pause this cause I can't edit. Uh, the Betty and Dennis are back, so I'm going to go over there and talk to them for a few minutes so they can tell you about how they know me. I mean, how they now know me or how whatever. I'll be right back or they will.